Between the weekly challenges and the Fortnite challenges, here in Fortnite Battle Royale Season 9, we have a ton of tasks to complete and opportunities to unlock exclusive Season 9 items. And while the Fort Fight challenges might be the direct link to our secret Season 9 skin, for now known as the Utopia skin, the weekly challenges are still by and large the best way to level up fast, get some easy XP, and of course upgrade your battle pass and your battle pass skins. Not to mention, some of the Fort Fight challenges actually directly tie in with our weekly challenges too. So really, at the end of the day, your gameplay experience only gets enhanced more and more by completing the weekly challenges. And for those of you looking to get the best tips, tricks, and insights into the challenges every week, we got you covered as today, alongside every other week, we're giving you guys the latest weekly challenges leaked early and how to complete them all in the easiest ways out there. What's up guys and welcome back to the Simply Fortnite channel and thanks for stopping by. If you're new here, feel free to subscribe with your post notifications turned on, and if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to drop a like on it. And now without further ado, let's take a look at the Fortnite Season 9 Week 4 challenges and how to complete them in the best and most efficient ways possible. As always, with our weekly challenges, I do have to preface the video by saying that yes, these challenges are leaked early via the updated in-game files. But seeing as Fortnite is always getting new updates literally all the time, it is possible that one or two of these challenges we have here today ends up changing or being altered in some way, shape, or form. So even though we do have the official week 4 challenges via the in-game files, it is still a good idea to double check the challenges on the main menu tab come Thursday when they go live just to make sure everything is in order and up to date. Of course, per usual, we have 7 challenges in total this week, comprised of 4 regular ones and 3 hard ones, with the regular challenges being worth 5 battle stars upon completion, and the hard ones being worth 10 battle stars upon completion. And lastly, on top of all of that, if you end up completing 4 out of these 7 challenges this week, you'll end up earning a nice 5000 XP bonus to add towards your overall level and also all of your battle pass skin upgrades. That said and out of the way, our first challenge this week is going to be deal damage with sniper rifles to opponents, and in order to fully complete this challenge, you will need to end up doing a total of 500 damage at the end of the day. Now keep in mind this challenge does not have to be completed in just one match, and it can span as many days or even weeks as you might need in order to rack up that total damage count. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I am definitely not the best with a sniper rifle here in Fortnite, but thankfully, since they are such powerful weapons, even in the case of the semi-auto, you don't really have to end up getting as many shots on target since that damage count will go up pretty quickly naturally if you are hitting your shots. By and large though, the easiest way to complete this challenge is to go ahead and jump into Team Rumble, find yourself a sniper, and then just play aggressively. Of course, since you can just respawn, you're going to have a lot of opportunities to take out opponents with a sniper, and that 500 total damage really shouldn't be too tough to get, even if you do have potato aim like me. Moving on, challenge number 2 this week is going to be a staged challenge, so keep in mind with this one, you can only complete one stage per match, and you also have to complete the stages in the order that they are given. That said, stage 1 is going to be dance inside of a holographic tomato head. And this one I believe is going to be located right in the heart of what was formerly Retail Row and what is now Mega Mall. Stage 2 is going to be dance inside of a holographic Durburger head, and this area is going to be located right inside of Neo Tilted. And the final stage, Stage 3, is going to be dance on top of a giant dumpling head, and this can be found at Lucky Landing. Of course, for this one, all you have to do is dance on or around these heads, so really not the most difficult challenge out there, but it will take some time since it is a staged challenge at the end of the day. Next up, challenge number 3 this week is going to be get 3 eliminations using legendary weapons. Now, this one honestly seems pretty self-explanatory off the bat, and the challenge, or at least the in-game files right now, do not say that we have to get 3 eliminations with 3 different legendary weapons, but if that ends up being the case, well, honestly, still pretty self-explanatory to be real with you. Of course, though, I would recommend dropping into Team Rumble for this one. That way you can find a legendary weapon and keep it all match long. And really, getting three eliminations with a legendary weapon in just one game of Team Rumble really is not all that hard. But if need be, this challenge can also span multiple matches as well. Continuing on, challenge number 4 this week is going to be destroy a loot carrier in different matches. And for this one, you will need to destroy a loot carrier in a total of 3 different matches to complete the challenge. Now this one might honestly end up being one of the most annoying ones this week to complete because the loot carriers only spawn in at the hot spawns or the gold locations on the map. 
meaning there are going to be a lot of people going for this challenge and just the loot carriers in general as well. And with that, you might not be able to get this one done right away, but really the only way to get this one done in any kind of timely fashion is to just try and be the first one down in the hot spawn in any given match. And if you really want to complete this one a little bit faster, play solos, jump in if you don't get the challenge done, back out, try again, rinse and repeat. Challenge number five this week is going to be yet another stage challenge, so once again you will only be able to complete one stage per match. But with that said, stage one is going to be land at Polar Peak, stage two is land at Lazy Lagoon, stage three is land at Salty Springs, stage four is land at The Block, and stage five, the final stage for this one, is land at Lonely Lodge. Now of course, you can just simply land at each one of these locations off of spawn in any given match to complete that specific stage, but you don't necessarily have to do it off of spawn if you don't want to. You can always just use a glider redeploy or a rift to go to land at one of these locations, so really at any point during any given match, as long as you land at that stage's area with your glider or umbrella out, you will end up completing the stage. As far as completing this one fast though, I mean, it's about as easy as it gets when it comes to the challenges, but it is going to take at least five matches at the end of the day since there are five stages and you can only do one per match. Moving on though, challenge number 6 here in week 4 of season 9 is going to be eliminate opponents in Haunted Hills or Dusty Divot. And for this one in total, you will need to eliminate 3 opponents, but that does not have to happen in just one of these locations alone. You could end up say getting 2 eliminations at Dusty Divot and 1 elimination at Haunted Hills and the challenge will still be completed. And you also do not have to do this one in one single match, so if need be, you can take your time. Honestly though, Dusty Divot is probably the more risky drop of these two just since it is at a height disadvantage naturally to the outside area and the loot isn't really all that great compared to Haunted Hills. But really, I guess either of these could work in Team Rumble if that final zone happens to be near or on one of these two locations. And lastly, our final challenge for this week, challenge number 7, is going to be visit different named locations in a single match. And for this one, you will need to visit a total of 5 different named locations in one game in order to complete it. And hands down, the easiest way to do this one is to play Team Rumble and either try to utilize that respawn glider to visit as many different named areas as you can, or jump into the slipstream and pop out near a named location, visit it, jump back into the slipstream, and rinse and repeat that process until you've got 5 named locations down. And really, with the slipstream available and even the sky bases in some areas, this challenge shouldn't be too bad at all, especially if you are in Team Rumble where the map is of course split in half and you don't necessarily have to worry about enemies trying to take you out off the rip. And there you guys have it, those are all of these Season 9 Week 4 challenges leaked early alongside the best tips and tricks to complete the challenges in the quickest and most efficient ways out there. As I mentioned at the very beginning of the video, if you are looking to upgrade your Battle Pass skins, advance through the Battle Pass a little bit faster, or just level up quicker and earn more XP in a shorter amount of time, these weekly challenges alongside the daily challenges you receive too are by far the best way to do all of those aforementioned things. So definitely jump in on Thursday and get to grinding out these challenges so you can ensure yourself the best Season 9 items that the game has to offer. Which of course, the number one item out of all of this really being that Utopia skin since that will end up being one of the rarest in the entire game. And as I mentioned at the very beginning of the video as well, the Utopia skin is unlocked directly through the Fort Bites. However, some of the Fort Bite challenges require you to do things like visit the secret area on the loading screens, which you can of course only unlock through completing all of that week's weekly challenges. With that being said though, that does effectively wrap things up for today. Be sure to let us know down in the comments below who you think the best challenge based skin is that we've seen so far. I believe so far we've got the Visitor, the Enforcer, the Aim skin, the Fire King, and Ruin, so out of all of those, which is your favorite? Of course, if you guys enjoyed today's video, be sure to drop a like on it, give it a big old thumbs up as it would be much appreciated, and if you are brand new here to the Simply Fortnite channel, feel free to subscribe with your post notifications on, that way you'll never miss another upload. By clicking that bell icon and joining the notification squad, literally every single time we post a new video, YouTube will actually send you a message and let you know we've gone live. That way you can be the first person to watch, like, and comment on each and every new upload. Once again, thank you guys so much for tuning in, and until next time, take it easy, have an awesome rest of your day, and we'll see you guys on the Battle Bus. Peace out.